Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Hey, today I'm at the uh, Silo Ridge neighborhood uh, being built by MI Homes. We're going to tour uh, two model homes and then take a look at two quick move in homes that have an unheard of interest rate. Um, hey, let's go check out the Bella Vista. Okay, you enter to a nice long, uh, fairly wide hallway. Um, this home has 1,495 square feet. It is a two bedroom and two full bath. When you enter uh, right to your left or right is a bedroom, decent size, uh, good windows. Make a great guest bedroom or office, obviously second bedroom. Um, it has a full bath that's right off of it, which is real nice if you have guests. Tile floor. Big linen closet right here. Coming down the hall, you have coat closet deep. You have your utility closet or a uh, Utility room with a furnace and water heater and set up for a water softener if you want one. Some uh, attractive design features here. To your left, this hallway goes to your uh, two car attached garage. And it is finished all the way around. Down this uh, or into this hall here is your laundry room, which is convenient then to everything. And check this out, how convenient it is to your master bedroom. You can put a door in here too, if you wanted to seal that off. Okay, back to the main uh, part of the house. It is open concept. It is just very comfortable is the way I would uh, call it. It just gives you a real comfortable feeling. So you've got a nice size island here with uh, four stools, big sink. You've got uh, nine foot ceilings. Uh, you've got total view here from the kitchen. You have real good windows. You have some wall space for uh, putting up prints and photos and that type of thing. You have the uh, fireplace. So they've got this set up to seat six comfortably. And then over to the right here's the dining room table. This is a six top. You could sneak in a, a corner cabinet, not much more than that. But lots of windows. You really gotta like that. Outside you have a covered patio. Very nice, comfortable. The exterior is fully maintained. So uh, you don't have to worry about mowing the grass or shoveling the snow or mulching the uh, flower beds. It is taken care of for you. How sweet is that? So you come back in easy uh, access to uh, put your food down if you've been grilling whether you're putting it on the dining room table or onto the kitchen kitchen has nice overhang with the quartz countertops seats four backsplash all the way around soft closed cabinets you gotta like that we have stainless steel appliances gas cooktop my favorite favorite of anybody who's ever cooked on it just about oh nice refrigerator ice maker imagine we got a pantry here yep the uh, nine foot ceilings really make it live larger than it is even just very comfortable so down this short hallway here into the bedroom suite little tray ceiling pretty good size they've got uh, two big nightstands 
Well, check this out. You got a doorway out to the patio right from your master bedroom. It's cool. Uh, they have two nightstands along with the bed, a uh, chest of drawers. There's probably room for a little something over there, whether it's a chair or you could do a bench underneath the uh, windows. And then to the right here, you have the uh, bathroom, double vanity, commode, linen closet, master bedroom closet. It's not the biggest. Okay, a nice tiled shower. So pretty nice bathroom at this price point and a decent sized master. Okay, let's take one more look at this uh, main living area. Nice and comfortable, that's what I would call it. 1,495 square feet. Okay, let's go next door and check out what the Demora model has to offer. Um, one thing I will point out, uh, MI Homes is very serious about this. Uh, most builders have this type of policy. Uh, some of them you can register some different ways, but uh, so what I'll say is, and I'll explain why it's important to you later on in the video, but uh, give me a call if you want to come look at Model Homes, even if it's a weekend, so I can get you registered, meet you here. Um, and then that way I can represent you throughout the process. There's no cost to you on that. And no, you don't get a discount if you don't use a realtor. But there's a lot of good reasons why you should. And uh, I'll share those with you in just a little bit. Okay, let's go inside and see what we have here. Okay, we are inside the Demora. Um, this one is also a two bedroom, two bath. The uh, electricity is not cooperating with us, so I hope we have enough light that we can see the uh, main parts of the house at any rate. Right inside the front door is a nice office space. This is a little larger uh, unit than the one next door, evidently. So coming down the hall, we've got a, a closet here. Um, we have our garage door and then our laundry room. And then we have bedroom number two, which is pretty good size. It has a door into the hall bathroom. So if you have guests, they don't have to come back out into uh, the hallway in order to go to the, uh, use the restroom in the middle of the night. So that's nice. Tile floor, linen closet. You come into the uh, main living area. Open concept. Got a fireplace over on this side, oriented to your TV here. Lots of good window space. Even without the lights on, it's pretty light in here today. You have hardwood floors throughout this area of the home and carpet uh, in the bedrooms. You've got a six top here. If it was Thanksgiving, you wanted to drop in a couple uh, extra leaves, you could do that. There would be room for a hutch or a buffet table if you wanted here. Again, a nice uh, covered porch. Not sure why that light's on. Um, again, the exterior maintenance is taken care of for, of for you. The uh, HOA cost is $211 a month on this. Go over what else is included a little bit later in the video. So your kitchen, again, has backsplash, gas cooktop, soft closed cabinets, stainless steel appliances, um, You've got the microwave plus the double oven and a large pantry. And this one has a loft. Looks like we might even have a light on up here. Carpeted stairways, which is nice. Little elbow room on them, which is good. Yep, so you got a nice size loft up here. Closet over on this side. Plenty of room here for whatever purpose you wanted. Kids playroom, second living area, 
um, office, workout room. So this is actually three bedrooms plus the office. So lots of room in this villa. And then a full bath right here. Okay, lots of space. In my homes has built uh, 10,000 homes in the Indianapolis area. And in this development, it's a planned community. They have single family homes. Uh, eventually they will have town homes and here they have the villas. We did a um, video a while back on Silo Ridge on the single family homes and you might want to check that one out. Okay, one more look here. Oh, we didn't go to the master. Okay, you got a tray ceiling. You have nine foot ceilings, so really helps from a space standpoint. Good size on this. Nice window out the back. You've got uh, chest of drawers. You have two big nightstands. You have a foot bench uh, or a bench seat underneath the windows. And there would be room for a wing chair or two over on this side. Fortunately, we're not gonna be able to see much on the bathroom, but you do have a double vanity, private commode room, uh, pretty good size walk-in closet and a tiled shower. So nice master suite on this one. Okay, more look at the main living area. And then let's uh, go look at those two quick move-ins, which are of these two models. And I'll share with you just uh, that unheard of 30 year fixed rate mortgage that they're offering on those if you close by April 30th. Okay, we're getting ready to walk into one of these quick move-ins. This is 17755 Cattle Hollow Drive. Uh, this is the Demora model that we were just in that had the loft. This one's a, configured a little different. It does not have the loft. So it is 1,716 square feet. And uh, let's go see what it has. Okay, it has lights. That's one thing I like. Okay, nice entryway. Long hallway here with uh, the office here on the right. It does have the double French doors, which is a real nice touch. It also allows you to close it off if you have uh, friends over or you don't want the kids in here. Or when you're done working at the end of the day, you just want to shut the door and go watch TV or something. Okay, coat closet here. To your left, you have your entryway into your finished two-car garage. You have a mechanics, mechanical closet here with your furnace and AC, or an AC and a water heater. Uh, washer and dryer laundry room here, decent size. Uh, I think you have a, like a for your water softener here if you want one or another storage closet. This leads into your master bedroom closet and into your master bedroom bath. It does have a door so you can close it off, lock it, do whatever you want with it. But it does have easy access that way. Back to the hallway. To your right is the second bedroom. Decent sized closet. It does have the door that leads into the bathroom. It's not a private bathroom, but it does give you or your guests, it allows them to uh, use the bathroom without having to go into the hallway. Okay, we have our open concept. The view from the kitchen island. Good size quartz top, seats four. You have a fireplace on this wall. TV here. Lots of windows and natural light. Big dining area. Room for a hutch or a buffet table. Like I said, you could see, I don't know, 12 or 16 for Thanksgiving dinner if you wanted. Big patio, good place to grill. Easy to bring your food right in here to the table. So back to that uh, HO8, the 211, it does cover all your outside maintenance. 
Um, it also includes a pool and a pool house and walking trails and all that the area has to offer. Back to the kitchen. Tile backsplash, soft closed cabinets. This one has an electric cooktop and double oven plus the microwave and the dishwasher, all stainless steel. Nice walk-in uh, pantry. And let's see what we have over here. Okay, we've got the master bedroom, good size. It has the uh, tray ceiling, which makes it live even a little bit larger. Plenty of room in here for your furniture and not feel cramped. Well, we get to see this bathroom. It's got a double lavatory. I like this. It has a cutout here so that you can have a chair and a makeup counter. Um, I think that's a nice touch. You have a private commode room, walk in closet, good sized linen closet, and a tiled shower with a uh, soap tray there. So, pretty nice master bath and master bedroom ensuite. So this one is um, a little different than the model that we looked at in that the model had the loft. So this one is 1,716 square feet. Um, the model was, let's see, um, 2,300 square feet. This one, the ticket on it is 391, two and a quarter. If you close by April 30th, you get a 4.875% 30-year fixed rate. Super low rate. And the loft to add it is about another 44,000. So that would push you to uh, what, 335-ish, something in that range, or 435, I'm sorry. So um, just depends how much space you, you uh, need and want. Um, but this is a very comfortable layout and goes off at 391. Okay, let's go take a, a look at that uh, other quick move in. Okay, I'm in front of 16658 Caddo Hollow. Uh, this is the Bella Vista model, the first uh, model home that we walked through. It has 1,495 square feet. It's a two bedroom and it's two bath. And uh, this one's ready to go. So let's go see what it looks like. Okay, typical hallway that we've seen in the last couple, right to your left, got uh, Front bedroom or office, whichever you might want it to be. Good windows, good size closet. Bathroom is right off of it. So somewhat private, I guess. Big linen closet. Got a hall closet here, I imagine. Yep. Got your mechanical closet or a room. <laughs> Keep saying that. Furnace, water heater space for water heater if you want one or water softener excuse me uh, we got the door here into the garage finished again two car same design as the other with the uh, laundry room off of the master bedroom closet and also off the hallway okay this one they uh, decked out a little bit different but uh, Total open concept, your view from your island, seats for granite countertop. They ran the uh, flooring, tile flooring up the um, fireplace chase to the ceiling. You got a nine foot ceiling, lots of windows with natural light, gives it a real nice feel. Plenty of room for furniture and for prints and all that. Good size area for your dining room. Not much room if you want to put anything else in here. You know, you could do a little corner thing and that's about it. Got the uh, covered patio. Across the way is a private entrance into the master bedroom from it. That's nice. You can bring your food in when you're grilling right here to your table or to your countertop to prepare it. Soft closed cabinets, backsplash. This one has an electric cooktop as well. 
It has a single oven with the uh, microwave. Refrigerator will go there. Dishwasher, all stainless steel. And a pantry. Okay, let's go see what the master looks like on this one. It's carpeted. Find some lights. Yep. Okay. Good size. I like the tray ceiling, makes it live a little larger. Good wall space. Okay, into the uh, master uh, bathroom. This one's laid out like the other one pretty much. It has the uh, dual vanity. It's got the tiled walk-in shower with the soap tray. Uh, commode. Linen closet. And walk-in closet. If I have any complaint on this house, it would probably be this walk-in closet. I wouldn't mind seeing it be just a little bit bigger. And again, that uh, laundry room is just right off of the master bedroom here. Okay. So this one's ready to go. And uh, we're talking 1,495 square feet, two bedroom, two bath. Uh, the ticket on this one is $348,990. You close by April 30th, and you get that 4.875% 30-year fixed rate mortgage. That's not a teaser rate, that's fixed for the entire 30-year term. If you'd like to see this house or any of the others, uh, just give me a quick uh, call or text, or book a call. Okay, let's go look at uh, what lots they, they have available, and I'll explain a couple other things about their process for you. and. Uh, See if there's something there that maybe interests you. You know, I started out as a uh, contractor working on projects like this, pounding nails and then running crews. And later I was a construction lender. And so it's given me a lot of experience that other realtors just do not have. And what that means to you is I can identify issues and problems before they ever even become problems. And then I have an idea about how to go about solving them. Uh, building you know, is a human business, a people business, and things are gonna happen, even with the very best of builders. And so uh, being able to work through those things uh, makes for a good process. Heck, when I was a construction lender, I used to tell people that, you know, after we'd worked together for six or nine months, that sometimes I felt like I was more a marriage counselor than I was a construction lender. But uh, they have a lot going on here, and one of the things I'll point out is that the typical purchase agreement for an existing house is eight pages. On new construction, it's 40, 50, sometimes 70 or 80 pages. And you don't know what you don't know. Just think about that. When it comes to uh, new construction, I can be a difference maker. Um, I'm your advocate. I'm the only person that by law must represent your best interests. The builder's going to look out for the builder. Title company's looking out for the builder. Surveyor's looking out for the builder. So um, I'm the only person in the transaction that is your advocate. And usually the problems are real small and they get worked out nicely. Uh, but hey, I had one in Colorado when I was a construction lender where the person built over the pro or the builder built over the property line. Can you imagine that? That was not fun to solve, but we did get it done for the client. So there's good reasons why over half of my clients are repeat business. I work harder to make good things happen. So if you want to uh, get out and walk through model homes, be sure to give me a call. Uh, some of these builders are much more uh, finicky about their registration process than others. Uh, like in my homes here, they demand that you walk through for the first time with your realtor if you want representation. Like I said, there's no cost to you to do that. You don't get a discount from the builder if you don't use a realtor. And uh, my experience can save you money. It can also save you a lot of grief. Okay, they do have a lot going on here. There are good lots still available, but good lots are like good houses. They can go very fast. So if you do want to look, call or text me and uh, we can uh, come out and walk through models and look at what lots are available if you want to go that route. The build time right now is about six months, but you do get to pick your options. You get the house that you want, um, exactly as you want, and uh, they do have flex spend on that so that you can apply that money to either uh, options or to an interest rate. Unfortunately, they can't lock in that 4.875% 
uh, loan rate for the entire six months. So if you want that uh, for certain, you've got to go the uh, uh, route with one of the quick move-in homes that are available either now or that will be coming online very shortly. You know, a couple of these quick move-in homes are ready to go right now if that's what you need. On the other hand, they'll have others coming online in the next, oh, 60, 90, 120 days. And uh, that gives you time, if you need it, to get your house ready to sell. We can come in, get you the best price, uh, sell it in the quickest time and with the least hassle. Now, if you're uh, thinking or considering or trying to figure out whether you need to buy or sell first, uh, this is not my first rodeo and I'll be glad to sit down and talk over the pros and cons of the situation and how they apply to your personal situation. And by the way, uh, we have a free room by room analysis. I'll walk through your house with you. Uh, we can talk about things that maybe you want to do, maybe you don't want to do, maybe somebody told you you wanted to do. When we do this, I can both make you money and I can save you money by saving you from doing things that just aren't going to add to your bottom line. If you'd like to take advantage of that free room by room analysis, just hit me up in the comments section below. The area around Silo Ridge just has so much to offer. I mean, let's just talk about location in general. You're about five minutes over to State Road 37, which is the largest non-interstate north-south route uh, for miles around. Um, you have the interstate itself, which you're also only about five minutes away from the interchange there. And from that, both of those will take you down to the Beltway at 465. You can go anywhere in the metro area from there. And you can also go straight downtown if you need to in about, oh, 45 minutes. Now, because of that, and because of the population that's around here, there's just so many jobs. Up and down 37, there's manufacturing and distribution centers. Along 69, there's uh, more distribution centers. You get down where the two come together, and you've got a lot of financial services uh, places like Form Credit Union Headquarters and Freedom Mortgage and uh, um, the student loan servicers. You go a little further south and you're into uh, Roche Diagnostics, a Fortune 500 company. Plus you have all the retail that there is uh, around the Beltway and then up and down uh, State Highway 37. Um, there's tons of educational jobs in the schools and then you can go into Indianapolis for the uh, universities. Um, there's a ton of healthcare jobs in all the hospitals and medical facilities that are in the area, all within anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, talking about education, let's talk about schools. Deer Creek Elementary is about a mile away. Uh, Fall Creek uh, Intermediate and Junior High School a little further. Hamilton Southeastern High School is probably about 12 minutes away. All of these schools are A-rated. In fact, the Hamilton Southeastern School System is ranked number eight in the state out of 290 school systems by uh, niche.com. You have some uh, private school uh, options. Your Catholic schools are A-plus rated, but they're a little further away. The high schools are anyways. Um, there are a lot of private schools around the area that are either one denomination or another or no denomination and then you have a uh, heritage christian school along the beltway which is another a-rated school and it is grades k through 12. now let's move on to medical and hospitals um just south on 146th street so we're on 166 so two miles away is uh uh, community network uh, hospital. You go about uh, seven or eight minutes to the east and you got an Ascension St. Vincent uh, Hospital. And if you go to the west and you go downtown Indian um, Noblesville, you're gonna be at Riverview Hospital. Or you can go straight down to 116th Street. Uh, there's an emergency room there and there's some others around. And around all of these hospitals are uh, other medical facilities like orthopedic and surgery centers and physical therapy and neuro and just all sorts of different uh, medical uh, facilities uh, to suit your needs. In this entire area, there are tons of things to do. There are tons of young people, tons of children, and there are plenty of opportunities of all sorts to do all kinds of different things. Uh, a couple of them that we're gonna touch on here later in the video are the, um, <laughs> the music, okay? We're gonna take a look at the event center, which is a new 8,500 center or 8,500 seat facility that will be done at the end of the year. It'll play home to uh, the Indy Fuel, the minor league hockey team, and it'll also have music and comedy and uh, theater events 
and then we'll go over to the Nickel Plate Amphitheater. Seats over 6,000 for a summer slate of music performances up to Connor uh, Prairie, which is a regional um, tourist attraction. And they have uh, a summer concert series, about a dozen concerts. 8,500 people there. And then we're gonna go out to Ruoff Music Center, which is the, the gym in Indiana. It is uh, in 2018, it sold more tickets than any other outdoor venue in the entire world. And uh, we're gonna sneak in there and show you around. Um, let's switch gears here. Let's talk about Parks and Rec. Uh, just a block or eh, two blocks away is Finch Creek Park. We're gonna walk around it in just a bit. Um, golf courses, if you like golf, or even if you don't, uh, there are plenty of uh, golf opportunities in the neighborhood. You've got Stony Creek, which is just down the block, as is Sagamore. Stony Creek is private, Sagamore is public, and it has a full slate of other activities for the family. Um, all sorts of different sports, and the pool, and dining, and just other social benefits that you know you may be interested in. Hey, and then we're gonna stop in at Top Golf because that's always a good time for the entire family. And then we're gonna pretty much wrap up the tour with, uh, we're gonna take a look at Hamilton Town Center and then all the stores that are along Highway 37. There are more stores than you could walk through the front doors of in the next three years. And uh, Hamilton Town Center is especially cool. It's an outdoor mall walkable and it has some of the best restaurants around and I'm going to share some of my favorites when we drive through there. Hey, and then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to uh, give you a market update and share one strategy that you can make work in this market. Hey, if you'd like to learn more about real estate in Noblesville or the greater Indianapolis area, or maybe you just want to walk through a home that you've seen advertised, text me or book a call. Hey, let's jump in the towel and let's go take a look at all these great attractions. So if you're considering moving to Noblesville or the greater Indianapolis area, uh, you just might want to check out our relocation guide. Our, my staff and I have put together the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy free in the comments section below. I mentioned earlier, this area just has so much to offer. And uh, right this second, we're gonna tour uh, Finch Creek Park in Noblesville here up in the northeast corner. This is a massive 200 acre development. Got uh, basketball courts, pickleball courts, lighted. Sports medic medicine and orthopedic place right next to a big sports complex. And then building out the city park, Finch Park, uh, back behind it. So this is going to be about two blocks from, you can see the development over there. And I imagine that it won't be too many years before this has uh, walkways or golf cart. It's got a big picnic pavilion, 24 picnic tables, restrooms, big playground area. Got the splash pad for uh, summertime. What's not to like? You've got all that area back there that's yet to be developed. And this is all, you know, right in the mix of all these new subdivisions that have been built or are being built currently. Pretty nice. Next up on this uh, tour of the area, we're gonna uh, bop about a mile down the road. We're gonna check in at Ruoff Music Center. This is something you don't want to miss. It is the number one music venue in the entire state. And in 2018, it sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here. But at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. You've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even, and uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. 
Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in, and then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early, you can stay till the very end, you catch the Encore, you walk out, it's five minutes to get out of the parking lot, and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. If you play golf, or hey, even if you don't, you're gonna wanna watch this next segment. Uh, we're going to take you by uh, two golf courses that are really close by. They offer an awful uh, lot of opportunity for golfers, but also for the non-golfers. It's something for the whole family. And then we're going to stop by go Top Golf, and that's always a good time. Okay, I'm standing outside the Stony Creek Golf Club, which is one of two that is right in the midst of all these uh, new home subdivisions. This one was uh, built in 1990 by Sam Taylor, a third generation Hoosier designer and operator of courses for the general public. So this is their 25th anniversary. Uh, this uh, club features an 18 hole championship course, a nine hole uh, par three, and a nice driving range. It was the first course in the state to offer a junior league and now offers um, all sorts of, or several different leagues. They also offer a couple of neat things. They have a discount pass and a weekday pass and a season pass that come with a bunch of perks that uh, you might want to check out. In addition to uh, Stony Creek, which is a public golf course, there's the Sagamore Club, which is uh, a private club and a whole lot more than a golf course. But it starts with golf. This is a 18 hole Jack Nicklaus signature design course. Uh, in 2004, uh, Golf Digest named it one of the top 10 best new private courses in the country. And uh, last uh, two years ago, they named it one of the top 10 courses in Indiana. In addition to golf, you've got uh, social and activity memberships, you have tennis courts, fitness center, a junior Olympic pool, and uh, a slate of uh, youth activities during the summertime. There's uh, dining opportunities and social activities. Uh, so whether you're a golfer or not, hey, what's not to like? While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate controlled bays. And this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear and they've got their own ball and bag and all that and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf, um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Um, they have all sorts of events and you can see the bays here from the outside and then uh, out there into a hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers. Uh, companies uh, do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun and you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Gonna wrap our tour up today of the area with uh shopping and restaurants. We're going to take a look at Hamilton Town Center, which is an outdoor mall that has got some great, great restaurants. I'll point out a couple of my very favorites and then uh, show you all along State Highway 37 where there is just so many stores you can't even comprehend. Get through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants and in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you. Uh, you 
we've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, the, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting, make it kind of fun. You have a total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs. You can't find it there. I'm not sure you can find it anywhere. Over here, you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm gonna take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old Navy here. You got Lita, Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. It's a fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Through 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, pies and pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. Turning left into this first subdivision at Town & Country, you've got a Walmart and a Kohl's and some fast food places and oh, uh, Rent-A-Center and just uh, a whole lot more. This has, you know, the usual array of uh, uh, shops or stores. You got a lot of big box stores here, Dollar Tree, Staples. You got a GameStop and a uh, Great Clips, GNC, just, you know, about whatever you want. And we're coming up here on a big Walmart. Got a white castle there for your midnight dining pleasure. You got all the fast food outlets. You got a steak and shake, another bank, Jimmy John's and Starbucks. Over here we have Aldi's, which uh, seems to be hot right now. Another strip center. Subway, nail spas. And we're coming up on Pleasant Street. The uh, post office will be off to the left. You've got some county buildings. And now we're gonna be into another strip center. We're looking at the back of Tractor Supply, another big box store. Kind of fun to go in there sometimes, even if you're not a farmer. Got a Walgreens on the corner. It's Salvation Army Family Store. Hobby Lobby. Big Pet Supply Plus. Another dentist. Aaron's Furniture. And you got the BMV. Always good to know where the BMV is. They actually run a um, pretty good operation. Uh, BMVs used to be atrocious in Indiana, but uh, 
lately of uh, the last 10 years have really come around and now you've got an at-home decorating superstore um, there's just so many places I could keep going and there's there's more uh, I'm gonna turn around and go on the other side of the road now and show you what's over there okay we're crossing back over uh, State Highway 37 and we're on Pleasant Street coming into a whole nother strip center T-Mobile another bank you've got uh, Kalo's uh, Jeep Chrysler Dodge over here okay we're coming up on Best Buy seems I gotta go here all the time for something technical it's usually a pain not because of Best Buy because maybe I don't know what I'm doing At any rate here's a pet smart and it's just one big box store after another we've got the shoe carnival and then we've got home goods hey and TJ Maxx now my kind of store and then you got a Ross and a Barnes and Noble so just one right after another and we're not done because we're coming up to some of the bigger ones we've got Meyer here there's a Meyer gas station across the street there's also a crew car wash over there if you're not from the area, you'll want to get to know Crew Car Wars. Great operation. I'm going to leave there, drive across the street, see if we can drive by the front of this door without having to stop and spend some money. And here we are at Lowe's. I spend enough here. I have not one, but two credit cards. Just teasing. One's for business, one's for house. And as we come out of here, there's still another couple stores. There's an LA Fitness, there's a big Goodwill store. Uh, they do have an open there. Uh, you don't see too many of those around here, but uh, Hey, there are just so many shopping opportunities along here. I promised you back at the beginning that if you stuck around here to the end that I'd share a monthly market update with you. I'm not gonna disappoint. Uh, we're gonna talk about what's been happening this last month and how you can take advantage of the trends. January housing numbers are in and drum roll. Lower mortgage rates have caused buyers and sellers both to jump into the market. But so, demand still exceeds available inventory, which means for buyers, they need to be prepared. They need to be pre-approved. They need to know what they want and they need to be ready to pull the trigger when they do find the right house. But so for sellers, tighter inventory has made prices sticky, making it a great time to be a seller. However, I understand if you're sitting on a 3% mortgage and are hesitant to buy at 6%. But if that's the case, then maybe you need to look at new construction. Most people do not realize that new construction homes does not necessarily mean nine months. Most builders have what they call quick move in homes. They may be ready today or anytime in the next 30, 60, 90 days. And I'm seeing 30 year fixed rate mortgages from the builders of like 4.99 and five and a quarter percent. Those are good. No, those are great. And for more info on those opportunities, check out these videos. Hey, be sure to tune in every Tuesday. We do a tour of uh, new construction homes for sale in the communities they're located in. Take a look at some model homes. It's pretty exciting. On Thursday, we do a tour of existing homes that are for sale and the neighborhoods they're in. And then on Saturday, we do a segment on uh, what it's like to live in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Say, if you found this video helpful, you're gonna love this next one. Watch it now.